In case you see this error on your WordPress website, we say there has been a critical error on this website. Or in some cases it can say, there has been a critical error on this website, please check your site admin email inbox for instructions. Okay, how to solve this issue? Very simple. In most of the cases guys, you will receive an email, something like this. There is a WordPress inbuilt feature which detects when a plugin or theme causes a fatal error on your site. And then you receive this email. And you also receive this notice, in this case, WordPress caught an error with one of your plugins, which is secure website content. So I know now that there is a plugin on your website, which is secure website content, which is making this error. And sometimes what happens when you update a plugin on your website or install a new plugin, you can see this issue. Or in case if you install a new theme or you update a theme, and then you see this critical error. In that case of theme update or new theme install, you will also receive this information that which plugin or theme is creating this error. And then there will be some general information about your website like what WordPress version it is, what is the active theme, what is the current plugin which is making this issue and what is the current PHP version. And also if you want to be more techy, you can see the error detail completely here. You can see here error detail is this error of ePass cause on line 11. Because I made this error on my website to make this video. But in your case, you have some different error on your website. So now we have two ways to do this. If you have access to your admin email and you receive this email, what you can do, you can click on this link and now you will come to a special recovery mode. You can see here recovery mode initialize. Please log in to continue. You need to enter your username or email and password. Make sure guys, this is the recovery mode. If you're trying to access the WordPress admin without recovery mode, you will not see this page because there's a special recovery mode option present in WordPress. So once you log in inside WordPress admin panel via recovery mode, now you can see here there is option exit recovery mode. And then you will see this message here one or more plugins failed to load properly. And then you can go to plugin screen and then you can see this plugin is causing the problem. Now what I will do, I'll just deactivate this plugin. And I will go back to my website and now if I refresh the website, you can see my website is loading again. So these are the method for the people who has their access to admin emails. In case you don't want to have access to your admin email and you're facing this critical error on this website issue, what you can do now? You need to log into your website cPanel and then you need to find this file wconfig.php. Right click on this file and click on edit. Now in end of this file or somewhere in middle you will find this option wp underscore debug. It will by default set to false, we'll change this to true and then click on save changes. And now when I refresh this page which is saying there has been a critical error on this website, you can see we have more information here. Because what we did, we went to wconfig file and we enabled the debug mode. So now because you do not have access to admin email, but you want to know which plugin broke your website or which theme broke your website or what is happening with your website. Guys, this is general instruction to troubleshoot any kind of issue on your website. You just need to change WP debug mode to true. And now you can see here, this is the error. Now you can see this is the error happening here. And this is the file where this error is happening. As you can see here, it is happening with a plugin. You can see plugin slash secure website content slash drc.php. This is the name of the plugin. And this is the file inside that plugin which is causing that error. In case of a theme, you will see here w content slash themes. And then you'll see the name of the theme. And don't worry about these two things, they're notices. They're not making critical error on your website. This is the critical error on your website. So it's very simple. Now we know which plugin or theme is causing this issue. Go back to your cPanel and inside file manager, go inside WP content folder and then go to plugins. And then you can see I have this plugin secure website content. And here I'll match the name secure website content. So now I know this plugin is causing this error. So what I will do, I will select this plugin, right click and click on rename. And I'll say something like back. Or you can give any name, just rename this folder and click on rename. What it will do, it will deactivate that plugin which caused error on your website. And now if I refresh the page, you can see my website is back again. In case this error happened because of theme, what you can do, go back to WordPress WP content folder and then go to themes and then deactivate the theme which is causing the error. This is the same method like detecting plugin. You can also know which theme is breaking your website. And guys, if this video solves your issue, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. These videos take a lot of time to create. I'll be really happy to know that this solves your issue and you learn something new today. So I'd really appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to know how to make your website super fast and get 100 out of 100 score for Google PageSpeed Inside, check this video on screen.